Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, South Africa's new JSE-backed oil and gas code is globally aligned, and low iron ore prices are killing jobs at Kumba. The recently published South African Code for the Reporting of Oil and Gas is fully aligned to the oil and gas reporting standards used globally. Four years ago, uh, we put a lot of effort into creating a, uh, a committee that was going to then construct the code and we decided that we would actually, rather than write our own, adopt in principle the National Instrument 51101 Code. It's very well known, it's uh, effectively administered by the Alberta Securities Commission who I'd met in Calgary and they gave us their undertaking to assist us in writing the code. On the local front we had um, Annalee and the Stock Exchange as uh, a very uh, important contributor because we modified the NI5101 to take into account the local considerations for the Stock Exchange. More's the point is that we did include a broad number of um, uh, real experts in the industry and we also included uh, the Petroleum Association of South Africa from Cape Town. South African iron ore major Kumba Iron Ore has taken the knife to 1,772 jobs as low iron ore prices cut a swathe through the industry. Our industry is facing very challenging times. Prices averaged $135 in 2013 and slid to 60 in this half. We see the market continuing to be challenging and do not expect a major recovery in iron ore prices. In view of the decline in our cash generation and the uncertainty in the commodity markets, the board has decided not to declare a dividend for this period. This has been one of many tough decisions that we have had to take. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged onto miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.